Semper Fi, everyone. Welcome to the latest installment of Recon Jack. I'm your host, United States Marine Corps veteran and living historian Chuck Lynch. On today's episode, I'll discuss the M67 Fragmentation Hand Grenade, which is a further development of the M33 Grenade and standard issue hand grenade of the Corps since the Vietnam War. The M33 Fragmentation Grenade was the original successor to the M26 series and it was essentially identical to the M67 but lacked the safety clip that is fitted to the safety lever of the latter. The M67 grenade has a spherical steel body that contains 6.5 ounces of composition B explosive and it uses the M213 pyrotechnic delay fuse. The grenade weighs 14 ounces in total and has a safety clip to prevent the safety pin on the grenade from being pulled accidentally. The safety pin prevents the safety lever or spoon on the grenade from moving and releasing the spring-loaded striker which initiates the grenade's fuse assembly. The M67 is most commonly referred to as a baseball grenade because it is shaped like a ball that can be easily thrown by the user. The grenade can be thrown 30 to 35 meters by the average male soldier and 35 to 40 meters by the average female marine. The M67's fuse delays detonation between 4 and 5 seconds after the spoon is released. Steel fragmentations, not to be confused with shrapnel, are provided by the grenade body and produce a wounding radius of 15 meters with a kill radius of 5 meters, though some fragments can disperse as far out as 250 meters. The M68 fragmentation grenade is a variant of the M67 fitted with the M217 impact fuse and a safety clip on the safety lever. This fuse has an electrical impact function which arms within one to two seconds and will detonate the grenade upon impact and a backup pyrotechnic delay function which will initiate the grenade after three to seven seconds if the impact function fails. The M68 has the same specifications and markings as the M67, except it has a red painted fuse and lever to indicate that it has an impact fuse. Predecessors to the M68, the M33A1 and M59 impact fuse grenades use the M33 grenade body fitted with the M217 impact fuse without a safety clip on the safety lever and are marked in the same fashion as the M68. The M69 grenade is used for grenade training to safely simulate the M67 grenade. The fuse screws into the body and is replaceable after use. The simulator produces a report and small puff of white smoke when employed. The M69 has a blue painted lever and a blue body with white markings, hence the nickname among many Marines as a blue body. This is to indicate that it is a safe practice grenade rather than a live fragmentation grenade like the M33 or M67. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Recon Jack and perhaps you've learned something new. I've certainly only scratched the surface of some of the topics discussed, so stay tuned for more episodes as I continue to explore the hallowed history, traditions, and individuals of the United States Marine Corps. Please feel free to like this video, click that notification bell, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment in the section below. I always enjoy interacting with you folks and seeing the growth of this channel. Also, don't hesitate to tell a friend or family member or to email me directly at recon underscore jack at hotmail.com. Until next time, Semper Fi and carry on.